Hi everyone, I wanted to record a quick video kind of um, orienting you again to how the modules are going to work. There was a little bit of confusion in module one and there are always, you know, problems to work out in the first module. So um, if you were a little bit confused, don't worry, you will get situated, we'll get everything on track. So this is module two and of course to access module two, I just went to course modules, module two. And the first thing that you need to do, I'm gonna, my course menu there. The first thing that I want you to do is to very carefully look at the overview here. It tells you which chapters we're going to be covering and what you're going to be submitting for, um, for grading. And I want you to notice that the discussion assignment is completely different than the TCAP assignment, even though a couple of parts of each of these assignments look similar. They're different assignments. Um, of course, you want to be sure you keep an eye on the calendar and the announcements. No late work is um, accepted for any reasons, for any reason. And if you have any questions, always feel free to email me. Don't feel like you're bothering me or that you're um, that you're asking too many questions. I'm super, super happy to help. So the exam is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I sent an email earlier in the semester. Um, you know, those fill in the blanks have to be graded manually and I don't do that until the the um, the exam has closed. And so if you feel like you got some of those fill in the blank um, questions correct and they were counted incorrect, I, I'll, I'll look at those each individually. So there's no need to email asking why you got them wrong until after the uh, test has been graded manually. And then, again, that won't be until after the due date has passed. Now, the other two things we do in this class is the discussion assignment and the TCAP assignment. And they're, again, two completely different things. Not only are they different assignments with different requirements, they're also different groups. So you'll be in one group for the discussion and a completely different group for the TCAP assignment, all right? And this is allow you to be able to interact with as many different people as possible. So when I open the module two discussion assignment, the instructions are here and the instructions tell you you have to uh, post an original post and you have to respond to four of your peers posts. All right, so always read the instructions carefully. We have the discussion checklist here, how you'll be graded. And then I'm the instructor so I can see all the groups here um, you will only have access to, to one discussion board, and that's the one that you post to for the discussion assignment. You don't need to leave this folder, all right, if you're doing working on this assignment. The instructions are in the same folder as where you are going to post, all right? You will only have access to the discussion board for the group to which you've been assigned for this assignment. And remember, discussion assignment, TCAP assignment, two very different things, all right? So that's the discussion assignment. Again, you have to post initially and you have to post responses. Our other assignment that we work on is the TCAP assignment and it has nothing to do with the discussion assignment. Here, you're going to read the instructions for the TCAP. TCAP stands for Technical Communication Application Project. Read the instructions there. The start files that you need are here. The grading checklist is here. This is where everyone comes to post their rough draft. Now, in the last module, I posted an initial post with everybody's groups on it and that got a little bit confusing. So what I want you to do as you're working on your TCAP and getting ready to post your rough draft right here, not in the discussion folder, and the discussion assignments will not be posted here. This is just for the posting of the rough draft in the peer review. I want you to open this PDF and it gives you the instructions, all right? It groups you up and again, these groups are different than the ones that you're in for the discussion assignment. You're gonna find your group, the steps are listed here, you're gonna upload your rough draft, then you're going to find your group members, you're going to review theirs according to the grading checklist, 
And then once your peers have reviewed your paper and the peer review period is closed, you'll take that feedback, you'll revise and edit your TCAP, and you'll submit it for grading. All right. The um, module to the rough draft and the peer review take place here. Of course, there's we haven't started it, so there's no threads. Remember, though, that there are so many of us in this class, as everybody begins to post their rough drafts, we're going to have a couple of different pages of rough drafts. You always need to be sure you're checking down here to see if there's a second page that you need to look to to find your groups, um, to find your group members. And this is, again, you'll just reply to their initial post with their rough draft while you're doing peer review and assess their project based on uh, the grading checklist that was, that was in this folder as well. Then, when you're ready to submit your, rough, your final draft, you'll come back to this TCAP folder and you'll submit it here, okay? Now, I want you to be sure that you understand that this assignment has nothing to do with this assignment. There are different groups, there are different requirements. You have to do both. All right, if you have any questions, be sure to let me know. I know it's a little bit disorienting in, in the beginning. Um, be sure to let me know if you have any questions. Be sure you're getting everything posted um, in a timely manner, on time. Um, I'm very happy to help. I'm very excited to be looking at your first TCAP projects and seeing um, what you've come up with. Have a good day.